Do you want to improve your safety play as well as your offensive kick shots? Well, if you do, this video is for you. Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. And also thank you to all of you new subscribers. Man, I, I really appreciate it. A lot of you signed on to my channel. Hey, today I've got something real powerful for you players that are not really good at safety play and maybe at your kick shots. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, a very cool shot is the kick and stick shot. And I learned this one several months ago and it's really helped me with my safety play, but also with like a two-way shot because I've worked at this so that I can go offensively with it. And here I'm just showing you some of the shots that I put together for this video, just to give you an idea what you can do here. Now that one there, I was actually trying to kick it in the corner and it did go in. I'm surprised because it hit way short of the corner pocket, hit rail first, which uh, had some, uh, some nice uh, pocket speed there and that made it drop. But just take a look at this shot. I mean, it's so much fun to pull this off during a game. It's kind of a lockup safety in a lot of ways. So once again, it's a two-way shot. You can go offensively, but there's also that safety that's there for you. Okay, now this is a, a systematic approach that I've come up with. This is called Practice Session 1, where I just use the cue ball only. And you guys should do this, and this will give you an idea of how much spin you need to put on the cue ball to get it to uh, have the proper trajectory towards uh, what will be a ball out there eventually. Uh, here you'll see I've got one tip position over from center because we're at, this, we're at the very spot on the table and we're going all the way back to the corner pocket. So that's about how much you're going to want to uh, move your Q-tip is about one tip over for this length shot. Now we're going to go to the side pocket and we're going to have to put a little more spin on it here. So we're a little bit over two tips of uh, tip position off center and it just shoots it right sideways over into the side pocket. I say, say to do this because this will get you familiarized with tip position and you know how much uh, you know angle you're gonna need to get it to go to the side pocket. Okay, practice session two, we're trying to swap ends of the table. Cue ball one end, object ball on the other. This is the safety part of our kick shot. And what I do here is I try to shoot above the side pocket, then below the side pocket for control. And you'll see here that I'm going to go to the other side of the table now, and I'm trying to kick above the side pocket. And also I'm trying to put, once again, that, cube, that object ball down on that other rail. Okay, now I'm going to try to go below the side pocket. So I would suggest that you, those that try this um, technique is to you know be in control try to make sure you know where that object ball is going to go from your hit okay here we're actually going to practice session three where i'm actually going to try to kick the ball into the side pocket and this is once again control i'm actually trying to do this you know during a game you know when you practice this you'll get to you know get a good feel for this shot and you'll you'll surprise yourself you'll make it quite often okay now practice session four now what we're trying to do is we're just going to work safety play so this is where i try to put the cue ball on one end of the table the object ball on the other try to put the object ball in the center of the table and then frozen to the rail if possible and it, I'm, I was actually too close to that corner pocket, and I actually am still a little too close. So I'm going to have to make an adjustment. I'm putting too much spin on the cue ball right there. So I need to come in more behind that object ball and kick it like that, where I kick it more towards the side pocket, avoiding the side pocket, but getting the object ball to go down towards the center of the table. Once again, swapping ends, leaving a difficult shot for my opponent. Even if it's a bank shot, it's going to be a tough bank shot. I hope this helps you guys. This is just a systematic approach of how to, you know, learn your kick and sticks. 
and I thought I'd share it with you. If you have any comments, questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer those. Once you master this shot, you're going to be that much better than your opponent. So many people, I think, neglect to use this shot. It's just amazing because it's so powerful. And finally, I'm gonna leave you guys with this last kick shot. And this is uh, one that I really like a lot. I make this one so many times. It's, it's such a high percentage shot for me. But anyway, leave some comments if you uh, like. I'll answer them all. Till next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.